What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning, uh, good afternoon, excuse me. Uh, and welcome back to uh, this video on Oaks, which I wanted to cover today because um, it has been pretty bullish. As you can see over the last, uh, ever since like the 11th of September, you can see right here at, at 10 cents, we actually uh, went up to where we are right now at 33 cents. All right, so great moves right now. Um, and that's why I wanted to take a look at it. So if you're new to this channel, first of all, welcome. Second of all, what I basically do in these videos is I take a look at, at, at the crypto in question, in this example, Oaks. Uh, take a look at some of the history, uh, the project, and also the news around it. And then most, uh, and most importantly, the price, what's happening, what, what do I think is going to happen next. Um, Oaks. 25 million market cap, still pretty low. It's a legit project, at least it seems like it. 10 million in volume, that's great too. Um, see, the thing behind this move is most likely that a BUSD pair on Binance is coming. All right, a lot of uh, tokens that got a BUSD par pair actually shot up quite quite a lot, like Phoenix Global, Ambrosis. Um, and you can already see that even though Oaks doesn't have it yet, you can already see that people played into that move uh, because uh, people already started buying Oaks quite a bit uh, the 11th and the 12th of September when other cryptos that didn't have a BUSD pair but did have a BTC pair uh, started going up. Um, and, and, and then it kind of slowed down, but we have still kept going up until the 18th. Then we dropped down due to some bearish market circumstances. And right now we're, we're trying to break out again even though I saw no announcement of of a BUSD pair, you can still you can see that it's still um, active. As I said, it's it's a one hundred percent legit project. The thing is, though, is that um, Oaks has been around since two thousand and seventeen, right? Um, I think it's a legit project, but I don't think it's a unique project. Um, so long term, some of the projects we covered during these BUSD bull runs, uh, long term, I actually thought some of them actually uh, were all right to, to just buy and hold for a long term. I don't think Oaks is. Most cryptos that had their bull run in 2017, 2018 don't have that big of a bull run in 2021. And they probably won't have that big, big of a run in 2000, um, 2023 or 24 either. Um, so apart from that, I mean, right now Oaks compared to a year ago is, is pretty high, but then you should also know that in, in their last real bull market, they were at $2, all right? Um, so, so it's all about perspective in, in, in that sense. So just be careful with it right now. Let's take a look at the price. The main thing is, and what it always is in, in these rallies in, uh, in, in the coins that have a BUSD listing, is that they will continue to go, in, they will continue to go up until they want, right? And, that's, and that sounds very logical um, and like an open door. But the thing is, is if we actually manage to break the, uh, above 32 cents, that's our main resistance right now, right? If we break above that level, at least on, on uh, I'd say like the one hour time frame. So we already did that on the one hour. Um, I think we're going up even higher to the next price target, which in this case is 35 and 40 cents. And I think we're probably going to find resistance at around 37 and a half cents. We could, we could check out where we no normally find resistance. Yeah, 38, 37 and a half cents. So I think we'll find resistance there. Um, and whether we can actually get up to uh, 48 cents after that all depends on whether we can actually stay above 30 cents. All right, so we're going up here. After that, we will reject back down. If we can actually stay above 30 cents then for like two or three days, then I think we're going to break above 40 cents and get up to 48 cents because then we have kept that momentum. But if we get up to 37 and a half cents and then drop back down to 32 cents, find some support, drop down to 30 cents, find some support and then drop down below below 30 cents, then we're probably going to drop down. All right. Um, so, so that's usually how it goes. I haven't seen a big announcement of Oaks being getting a BUSD pair yet. So if they really get a BUSD pair soon, we're going to break above 40 cents and, and slowly start moving up to 45 and 47 immediately. Um, if they have already announced it and I just missed it, then uh, just remember the analysis as I said it in the beginning. All right, but I definitely will be uh, checking it multiple times. So um, subscribe if you want more updates on Oaks, but for now, that's my, my take. So um, if you do have any questions, feel free to ask me down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening, and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Take care today and bye.